Um, I don't know anything about all that thermal fax paper, carbon paper junk. Um, the way I've always done it is I get the artwork to size, Xerox it, copy it off whatever laser printer. Get yourself mimeograph paper. This is what we used to use back in school to make copies. Before they had copies, they had dittos. Take your purple mimeograph paper, lay the artwork right on top of it, trace it. You only need to trace the major lines. Um, sometimes when you're doing bigger pieces, you might want to draw a solid line along the edge of black shadows to indicate a hard line. And then there's like step down shadows right here, so you might want to dashes along all the shadow edges to indicate soft lines. Something small like this, you, well, small, something like that. I mean, I can see right from my reference where all the shadows are at, but if you want to, that's how you should make your markings on your stencil. Okay, now we're gonna apply your stencil. Okay, so you're gonna use your washes, and what you're gonna do is, this is solid black, real, just solid black. We're not using washes at all. This is a dark gray, this is a medium gray, this is a light gray, so you're gonna use your uh, three, six, and 12. Each, so, you know, basically whatever level, that's the value that you're gonna use. Um, whenever you're in corners like this, you're always gonna use your medium to dark gray sweep it out a little bit and then go to the next one and then work it out don't try and use your light gray to pound in a darker Six percent the medium and that's basically that all medium. you do and as far as like what kind of stroke do you go front and back do little overlapping uh, ovals it really doesn't matter um, you can do whatever you want whatever works best for you the only thing you really want to avoid is say going back and forth in one little area and then moving over and then filling that in because then you end up with a bunch of little patches that aren't ever even so you really need to just keep it flowing and overlapping and that's you know basically it So you can go back and forth, you can you can do little circles. It all depends on, you know, the area. You'll get you'll after you do a few, you'll know what works good for you. You just want your uh use your dark value in the dark areas. Um, bleed it off into the next step. I'm gonna hit the medium. Which is going to be right on the edge. Like I say you can go around, you can um when you go from go one direction like that. if you want to make it darker, go back and forth in the opposite direction.
But um, I mean, basically that's it. It's real easy as long as your machine set the right settings, you got the right breakdown of your watches, and you don't overwork any areas, you'll figure it out.